the pigs are sleeping. Good morning, pigs. Yeah, we're gonna have to move you soon. Look at that. Good morning, modern steaders. <sighs> Got another inch of rain yesterday slash last night. Not what we needed. Post and beam bond kit from Jamaica Cottage Shops. Got a good shower last night. <laughs> oh, guys. Morning. Yeah, come on out there, little pea and magnolia. Little man. I hear you, Hope. I hear you. Yeah, good morning. Who's gonna be the first to the feeder? Hope is. Look at all that new hay I just gave you. Maybe you won't be able to get it now, Hope. There you go. Can you get in with all the new hay in there? She's like, I will get in there. I will. I will. Maybe not. We've never had the bugs as bad as they are right now this year. And I feel like today it's gonna be even worse. We got an inch of rain last night and today it's supposed to be 80. <laughs> oh, so I think we're gonna be fighting off and swatting those little black gnats or whatever they are. I ended up ordering more meat birds yesterday. We got 40 more coming in the mail. They should be here sometime next week. That means they'll be ready to harvest come the end of August, beginning of September. I ordered the meat birds from hooverhatchery.com. The thing I really liked about them is they had offered free shipping and you could choose between straight run, females, or just males on the Cornish crosses. I've never seen that before. So we ordered straight run of males. I did that because they usually get bigger quicker. If you know of any other hatchery that offers that, leave it in the comments down below. I've never seen that before on the Cornish crosses. Oh, shnikes. The chickens didn't get locked up last night. Good thing we got them in the Premier One fencing. That's our extra barrier for the nights we forget. Look at all that standing water. What are you two up to, huh? Come on, Pluto, let's go. Always eat your way on over. Figaro's gonna get you. Come on, house, scoop. It's time to get everything set up. I'm gonna be starting on siding the back side this morning. Guess we got a leak in the roof, man. nails in there right now so we're good let's get that cover put back on I know it's gonna rain I take it off so that way I don't ruin the plywood that it's made out of
I loaded up the trailer last night with all the siding. I guess I shouldn't say all. It could be a piece or two that I missed, but I think I get all the siding on the trailer. I'm gonna start in the back. I really wanna start on the front, but I'm not going to. So, tells us every piece of siding we need. I didn't stack them in order, I just stacked them the way they were. So let's see what we have. One, two, five, six, one, four. One, two, five, six, one, four. One, so one, five, six, one, four. One, five, six, one, four. That's gonna be the second. I need two of these. New to the channel, we're building a post and beam barn kit that we bought off the internet from jamaicacottageshops.com. It's all pre-cut and labeled. We just need to put it together like an IKEA furniture set. The second to the middle one. It's gonna be something like that. Awesome. So this is gonna be the center. Awesome. Before we go ahead and do the siding, I need to put some screws from the back side into these uh, floor joists. Alright, so we got one, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight more per side, so 16 more total. So 48, 14. That's any of. 1, 4, 48, 14. 1, 4, 8, 1, 4. 1, 4, 8, 1, 4. So these two are supposed to be the same length. They are. Which way do we want them out? Do we want this out? And this out. Yeah, that works for me. Now it doesn't say if you should start in the middle or the ends. But to me it would make sense to start in the middle. Get the angle pieces right dead center in the middle. And then work your way down. And if we have to mess with the width towards the end, I'd rather do that afterwards. If that makes sense and do it down here where it's lower. All right, so now we're looking for 140.14, which is here. 140.14, 140.14, okay, that's fine. What are these ones? 108.14, I am not seeing 108.14, 108.14. So these two are gonna be the outside ones. So let's do this. Which way do we want it? All right, so let's set these over where they go. I'm gonna set this one on this corner. Next is one 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 fourteen. All right, so let's see one 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 fourteen. That's gonna be the front. So we have two one 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 fourteens. These will stick up on the front. So we gotta hold up these boards roughly an inch and a half off the bottom of the six by six, not the two by six. We want them sticking up an inch past the roof rafter, because then our strapping is gonna go on and we want them flush with the top of our strapping. So I wanna go up there. Oh, let's just get up there and I'll show you what we're gonna do. Do this. 
it's gonna be a lot easier if I set a piece of strapping here for now. Keep it flush with the edge. I wanna keep this right in the center. So let's get it lifted up and in place. That looks pretty close to center right there. Come down. Dropped a smidge on me, so I want to pick it back up. I like that right there, as long as it stays. Yep, okay. That's nice and flush with the top. That's plumb right there, guys. I like it. Let's do this. That's nice dead center there. So that's all looking good. Let's get this fixed. Let's see if we can use the leverage as our friend. I like it. Nice. There we go. Pick it up and go behind. Oops. There we go. We gotta go behind the hose. This one's got a good gapage in it, so we gotta suck that one over and tight. That's one of the reasons I like to put so many nails up high, so when we do need to do this, I don't gotta worry about the top moving on me. Let's see, make sure it's in the ground good. Oh, that one's really. All right, gotta get it in the ground better. Be able to move back any further. We can really drive her down and in. Close. Ugh. So close. All right. Let's try it again. Ha <laughs> ha! 
very little gap <laughs> compared to what there was. Our batten strip will hide that. Oh, I like that, guys. I really do. <sighs> so we went from an inch and a quarter gap to a three sixteenths gap. There you go. Just gotta stick this right here. Uh, yep. This time I'm just gonna put a couple of pieces of full length strap in, one on each side. Get up there and we'll secure them to the rafters. All right, now it's time to figure out the other plan of attack to getting the siding up. We don't want to stop with our boards going off. All right, that's good right there. I like that. Our flush on the bottom.
Look at that. Perfect amount of room for us siding behind our electrical conduit. We did good. as possible. Where? Here? I gotta go find the other board we need. It's only 8 inches wide instead of 12. Can you go in the back room and grab me a box of nails? Thank you. Thank you. It's gonna go like so. That'll get covered up with trim. All right, so we're nice and flush to the top of the strapping. I wonder if the pigs will be hiding under the trailer. Uh, no. no. Of course the crazy white chicken was out here. Yep. She saw you with feed and came a running. She did? Yeah. Oh, I thought she was just crazy. You girls have that whole back pasture you can go out and play in. And you don't go out there. You're crazy. Helps like Olivia's mine. No other little goats can come near her. Is that what you're saying, huh? Is that what you're saying? I heard that. I know, so did I. Good job. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Good job, Tan Man. He won't touch the chickens, he'll just chase them. If they sit still, he just sits down and waits for them to fly back into the chicken coop area. 
All right, how many eggs do you think we're going to get today? You want to get 24 today? I say 15. Yeah, I think we're going to get less today. Two. Eighteen. That's still quite a few eggs. For those of you who are new or haven't been on our channel that long, we got our goat right here, Hope, from our friends over at Weedham and Reap in Arizona. And she was the runt of the herd. She was not accepted by her mom, so they didn't bottle feed her, but they fed her with the other goats, right, Hope? Everybody is curious to know how big Hope is compared to her sister. So we're gonna weigh her today, and Danelle from Weedham and Reef is gonna weigh her sister, Fern. We're gonna also see how tall they are. You ready, Hope? How much do you think how she weighs? Um, how much do you guys think she weighs? Leave it in the comments down below. Uh, what, 25. 25, what do you think, Willie? Um, I'm gonna yeah. say 18. Oh, I think I'm high, I was gonna have to go to 30. You weigh 192 pounds, point two. You big girl. You weigh so much. Can I do that now? She doesn't even care. She don't care. <laughs> you don't care, do you? You don't care. Yeah. I think that's all they just chill. I wish I could pick up like that. 29.6. Yeah. 29.6 pounds. All right, Hope, you gotta come here and stand still. All right, I'll hold her if you measure her. Is she really 29 pounds? I'll hold her. I wanna go to the top here. Not there. Like here. I can't see. Look to be like 17. Yeah, I'm not 17. 17 inches tall. Okay. Is it? You can't eat that. You can't eat that. I'm going to have a link right here to Weed and Reap's video of them weighing Fern and measuring her. I'm curious to see, as of this editing this video right now, I have no idea what Fern weighs. So a lot of people think that Hope looks smaller than Fern. Danelle thinks they look about the same size. I really don't have an idea, and I don't want to take a guess because I'll probably be wrong. So I'm going to click on over and go watch Danelle's channel. Go on over there, watch the video. Give them a like, subscribe to their channel if you guys love goats or if you just love backyard farming or cool people. They're an awesome family. So go on over, tell them hi. And our family wanted to say a big thank you to all y'all. We just reached 100,000 subscribers on Saturday night. So thank you all for that. We couldn't have done it without you. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.